In this project, we're going to be drawing this object shown here called a sheet metal stamping. You'll notice that the measurements are in inches, the units are fractional, the precision is to 1 16th of an inch, and the limits will be set to 11 by 8.5. In studying my drawing, I can see that its overall length is 7.5, the overall height is 4.5, this is actually drawn around a rectangle with the ends cut off in chamfered corners on all four corners. Also you note that the object is symmetrical. From the center you can see that the internal rectangles and the notches are all equidistant from a center line. This will allow me to use mirror for drawing and replicating some of this information in my drawing. I'm going to start a new drawing and I want to use one of my own templates so I'll go to my AutoCAD folder and choose my simple title block template for this drawing. This opens to my layout. I'll change to model space and I'm going to change the units I'll go to the application menu under drawing utilities and I can access by drawing units dialog box. I'm going to change to fractional and with a precision of 1 16th of an inch. I'll say OK to close that and you notice that now in the status bar my readout is in inches. I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle and I'll choose that from my draw menu, click in the upper left corner for the start my rectangle command. I'm going to right click and choose dimensions from the pop-up menu because I know the dimensions of the rectangle. In this case its length is seven and a half. I could enter that as a decimal, 7.5, or I could enter it as a fraction, 7 hyphen 1 slash 2. Generally entering fractions takes longer than entering decimals, so if you know the decimal amount, AutoCAD will respond to either entry. The height is 4.5, so I'll just put 4.5, hit enter, and then click in the lower right corner to fix my rectangle in that quadrant. I can zoom and pan to center this in my drawing area. In looking back at my object, I'm going to next draw these notches that you can see here. They are two inches from the outside edge. They're half an inch deep, one and a fourth inches long. And each of these notches are symmetrical from a imaginary center line running down the middle of my object. To draw these, I'm going to start a line command. And with my object snaps on. I hesitate on the corner showing my endpoint and then I'm going to track across. Now before I click anything I'm going to enter the distance which is 2 and I want to start my line 2 inches from that corner. So this starts my line there. I'll turn ortho on so I have a vertical line and enter 0.5 for the distance. The length of this is one and a quarter, so 1.25, and the height. It should come back up and be perpendicular to this upper line. I see my perpendicular object snap, and I'll click the mouse, hit enter to end that command. Now we know that from a, from a center of this top edge, I have another notch that's symmetrical to that, so I'm going to start my mirror command. I'll use a crossing window to choose these lines, and now I'll hit enter to let AutoCAD know I'm done choosing objects for my mirror command. Specify the first point on the mirror line, I'm going to use the midpoint on this top line, and I'm going to use the midpoint on the bottom line to create a mirror line. And then lastly it asks me should I erase the objects and the default is no so I'll just hit enter. And that mirrored the object to the opposite side of that center point. 
These two same notches are in the bottom also, and I can mirror that to the bottom. So I'll start a mirror command again, use a crossing window to select those two notches, hit enter to let AutoCAD know I'm done selecting, and for my mirror line this time, I'll choose a midpoint on each end to create a mirror line, and again, accept the default of not erasing the objects. So now I have put these notches both right and left, top and bottom. At this point I can trim. I'll choose my trim command, hit enter to let everything be a cutting edge, and then remove the line to make these into the notches. Next we need to put in the rectangles that are in the center. Uh, I see that this is one and a half inches down from the top and that the size of my rectangles are two and an eighth by one and a half. Also, this corner of the rectangle is in the same line as this upper corner. So I can use that as a reference point. So I'm going to start a rectangle command and this time I want to track from this upper corner and I see my tracking line, I'm going to enter 1.5 as the distance down to start my rectangle, the upper left corner of my rectangle. And now again I'm going to right click and choose dimensions because I know the dimensions. And the length of this is 1 and 1, one eighth. no it's 2 and 1 eighth. So 2 hyphen 1 slash 8 for my length and for the height it's one and a half, 1.5. Pull into this lower right quadrant and there's my rectangle. Now I know that this rectangle is also duplicated on the other side so I'll use a mirror command. Choose my rectangle, create a mirror line using the center, center points and then hit enter not to erase the original one. So that creates my two rectangles that are in the center of my object. Lastly I need to chamfer off the corners. So I'm going to get my chamfer command which is shared with fillet here on my modify tools and I need to set for either distance or angle. In this case I know the angle of my chamfer when I choose angle, the first thing it wants to know is the distance. In this case, the distance is two and a quarter, so 2.25, and the angle is 30. So I'll enter that, and I'm going to be doing multiple chamfers, so I'll enter M from the keyboard to let AutoCAD know that I want to use this multiple times. In using my chamfer command I always choose the edge with the distance first and the angle second and I can see it projected there and that looks correct. Distance and angle, distance and angle, distance and angle, oh that one doesn't look right. So I hit escape to end the command, hit enter to bring it back, distance and angle, and that completes my object with the chamfered corners. Mm -hmm.